dearly beloved. We thank God for another glorious day. We thank God for another beginning of a new week. I know very sure that the word of God is secured. And therefore, the Lord has kept you throughout the week up to this time. I want to assure you that he will continue to do that all the time because he is a faithful God. We thank God for today. Shall we go through the word of God? We go to Psalm 64. And the psalmist said, Hear my voice, O God, in my meditation. Preserve my life from fear of the enemy. Hide me from the secret plots of the wicked, from the rebellion of the workers of iniquity. Praise the Lord. David knows how to touch the heart of God through effective prayer. David is a man of God who always knows how to touch God in a very practical way. And so this morning, the same God of David is with us. Just as David prayed this prayer, and here he goes, said, Hear my voice, O God, in my meditation. David believed that the God that we serve is a prayer answering God. This morning, I want you to know what are the things that you meditate on. What are the things that goes through your mind? Remember that as you begin to think about the things of God, so will the Lord hear you. There may be a secret agenda of the enemy against your life. There may be things that even you don't see it or it's not revealed unto you. But the truth is that as you begin to think and meditate upon the word of God, the God of heaven will hear you. So David said, hear me, Lord. This morning I am here to let you know, let your heart not be troubled. Meditate upon the word of God. Cry unto God and tell him, hear me, and God will hear you. And he went further to say, preserve my life from the fear of the enemy. Yes, there are things that always cause fear. And so anytime that you feel that you are being threatened, don't try to be superhuman being. Just go on your knees and tell God, God, this is what I fear. And so deliver me. This morning, may the hand of God deliver you from everything that intimidates you, that brings fear to your life. Because fear always comes to intimidate us. And when you fear, you can't even think right. But thanks be to God that those who know how to pray to God and say, God, take this fear from me. God is going to take that fear from you so that he will grant unto you the spirit of boldness and sound mind. Anything that is threatening your life that brings that fear, I speak just as David cried unto God and I say, may the God who deliver his children from fear also touch you and deliver you from everything that you fear. On the other one, you can see what you can do for free. You can see what you can do for free. You can see what you can do for free. You can see what you can do for free. You can see what you can do for free. You can see what you can do for free. You can see what you can do for free. You can see what you can do for free. You can see what you can do and so say ya dwene ni akoma nyina si onyankopon so a nya mebejo david say ewrade ji me free nia ebo me hu ni otamfo na hichem anopai christo yesu nye wo free bi bibia re bo hu se hu ba mu a hu se wuntime ndwene ye hu ba mu a na afi nye ma ususu bia re nko ye nan so me mpa ye ne se na me hon konkron ma hu hu ma ya koku dro hu hu na me wetimi adwene na sem ho may god grant unto you his peace remember that the lord is with you he will not put you to shame cry unto him and he will hear you may god hear you as you cried unto him shall we pray heavenly father we thank you that even in our mind because we meditate upon your word you will deliver us from everything that we fear May this morning anything that has intimidated your people and bring fear into their heart, 
May you set us free according to the power of the Holy Spirit. A blessing. Show.